In order to understand what's happening in the organic marketplace, you need to imagine a trip to the supermarket. Say you're shopping for organic milk, eggs, and soap. The government's agriculture department regulates how organic food is grown and processed. But your organic soap? As it turns out, there may be nothing organic about it after all. Consumer Reports toxicologist Urvashi Rangan says personal care products are not policed the same way as food. She says manufacturers can make vague claims about their products and don't get caught. Furthermore, the problem stems from how goods get to the marketplace in the first place, as there's very little pre-market approval for personal care products. That means that the marketplace becomes the testing ground for a lot of these claims, how truthful they are, and that enforcement, when it takes place on claims on these products, tends to happen after they've gone to market, not before they get there in the first place. And that's what I think really has led to a particularly confusing marketplace for consumers. It is this lack of meaningful labeling that Whole Foods Market hopes to curb. Under their new guidelines, which will go into effect in June 2011, health and beauty products making organic claims must be certified by one of two sources, the USDA's National Organic Program, which sets standards for food, or NSF International, a nonprofit based in Ann Arbor, Michigan, that developed its own certification mark. For health-conscious consumers like Sam Chapnick of New York City, this is good news. She's constantly Googling ingredient lists for chemicals she wants to avoid. Labels are there because a whole generation of people fought to make sure you could know what was in the products that you're eating, the products you're using. So I really pay close attention to them. I don't always know what things mean. But where I do know what they mean, I try to pay attention to what I want to put on my body or in my body and what I don't. Whole Foods isn't the only group working towards clarification. In March, Consumers Union, the publisher of Consumer Reports, petitioned the government for stricter policing of the organic claim on personal care products. Toxicologist Rankin says it's a necessary step to protect customers from false claims. People are clearly looking for safer, more healthful products. And the majority of people that are looking for natural labels do it because of health reasons. They do it because they think it's going to be healthier for them. People should be very aware that the natural claim has almost no standards. It has no verification. It, it means whatever the company wants it to mean. Rangan says the organic debate as regards personal care products dates back to 2002, the year the National Organic Program was fully implemented. Since then, the USDA has flip-flopped on whether personal care products were even eligible for an organic certification. Rangan says the USDA requirements for these products awarded the organic seal remain unclear. The requirements aren't comprehensive. They sort of leave it as if you're in the top tier and you can meet these standards and are verified, then you can use the USDA organic seal. And if you don't, you can call it organic anyway. And that's the problem. And that's where we want that allowance to stop. Rangan says what's happened in the last few years. While USDA's National Organic Program, or NOP, was deciding how far it would go with personal care products, other certification companies, including Organic and Sustainable Industry Standards, known as OASIS, and National Sanitation Foundation International, NSF, decided to form their own standards. Rangan says this only adds to the confusion. It's not to say that their standards are void of value. It's just that the organic claim should only have one meaning in the marketplace, and that is that it meets the standards of the National Organic Program. And we think if you want to use the term organic in the marketplace, you should have to meet the rules of the National Organic Program. And if you don't, then we don't think you should be able to use the word organic. For consumers like Sam Chapnick, any clarification in products and their ingredient lists would be welcome. One of the biggest issues for me is sort of what I'll call deception in labeling, which is like you go to a section, it's like children, or you go to Whole Foods, and you look at the labels there, and and you think to yourself, oh, well, if it's at Whole Foods, I can automatically get it because it's healthy or it's good for me or they've checked out the ingredients.
After years of vague claims on personal care products, this is exactly the sort of confusion that Rangan and others hope to see cleared up quickly through improvements to the National Organic Program rules. For Simple Steps, this is Jamie Bedford.